So Bad Santa 2 is the sequel to Bad Santa made back in 2003. Yeah, 13 years ago. It once again stars Billy Bob Thornton. It brings in Kathy Bates to play his mother. And I feel like there's very little reason to rehash the plot of this movie because the movie itself is a rehash of the very first Bad Santa. Billy Bob is a depressed drunken asshole. He gets recruited for a job, again, to steal money from a charity or something, again. And people basically just fling insults at each other for an hour and a half. And he has sex, and he drinks a lot, and that's basically the movie. Again, if you want to see a better version, just go watch the first Bad Santa movie. If you haven't seen Bad Santa, just watch How the Grinch Stole Christmas. They're pretty much the same movie. And yeah, it's an hour and a half of us trying to prove that Billy Bob Pervert actually has a heart. There were some things that I was able to walk out of this movie going, okay, I kind of like that. But my style of humor is very raunchy, dirty, filthy, vulgar, over-the-top, obscene, all that shit. Those type of comedies are my favorite type of comedies, generally. This one is no different. It's very crude, it's very over-the-top, and people pretty much say the most horrible things you could imagine to each other for the entire movie. Fun for a while, and then towards the end, it's just not that fun anymore. In the meantime, I won't lie to you guys and say that there weren't a few scenes in this movie that had me laugh. There were some insults that landed, and there were some moments where the dialogue was delivered in a way that made me laugh for that particular scene. Granted, it didn't happen that often during the run time of this movie, but I'd be remiss if I did not mention that there are at least a few funny moments throughout this movie. Oh, and Christina Hendricks is in this movie. She's pretty much the glorified sex object for Billy Bob Pervert. Yeah, and she's a hot chick and she's got a really, really big rack. Hey, 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 don't judge me, okay? If the movie for an hour and a half is not going to offer me anything but cheap insults and hot chicks with big tits, what else do you think I'm going to notice? Of course I'm going to gravitate toward the chick with the giant boobs who's only there to have sex with Billy Bob. If that makes me a pig, then that makes the people who made this movie pig slaughterers. Seriously, don't judge me. Boy, the supers went by a lot quicker than I imagined going into this movie. Okay, like I said, the movie doesn't really offer anything much beyond what you already saw in Bad Santa 1. It's pretty much the same plot. It's pretty much follows the same type of storyline. They even try to throw Billy Bob connecting with his rude-ass mother, who's pretty much an older, more perverted version of him, essentially, at this point. There's really not much you can say. After a certain while, the shock value wears off, and it's just not funny anymore. It just doesn't work. There's a few funny scenes, but when you keep beating me over the head with the same joke, I'm just not going to laugh at it the 10 or 11 or 12th time. As in most cases outside of Busta Rhymes' Touch It remix, the remix is usually worse than the original. So for most of the movie, I wasn't laughing, and then there's the character they bring back from the first movie, Willie. Yeah, he was this really fat dumbass in the first movie, and they bring him back because he's got like a personal connection to Billy Bob's character in the movie. He's pretty much 21, and he's still a big fat dumbass. Dumbass. There's a point where stupid is just stupid and it's not funny anymore. They do so much with this character to try to make him funny and it just doesn't work. He's just stupid. He's pointless. He's really only there so that we can have the Grinch grow a heart by the end of the movie. Basically, if you take Billy from Billy and Mandy, Peter Griffin, Homer Simpson, and Junior from My Wife and Kids, put them in a blender, mixed it up, added a little bit of fat and some extra grease, and then you stretched a skin-tight blue shirt over it, you would essentially have Willie in this movie. And yeah, there's there's no point to... He's, he's It's just stupid. It's not a good movie. It's a bad movie, but there definitely are moments of enjoyment. Pretty much just like Billy Bob, if you get enough drinks in your system, you'll be able to watch this. I will say, watch it when you're drunk, or watch it at home, or watch it on a boring Saturday afternoon. Watch it when it hits cable. This is definitely a guilty pleasure type of movie. That's what I'm saying. Hi, right, stay tuned. I've got another review of 24 season four coming up on the show in a little bit. Thank you guys so much. As always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.